Concrete is the low risk solution. Concrete is a non-combustible material, so it doesn't contribute to fire. This means that uh, it doesn't burn, uh, it doesn't give off toxic fumes, it doesn't give off smoke. It's easy to demonstrate its non-combustibility. You don't have to carry out tests. So you don't need to test concrete to know it's non-combustible. We just felt as an industry, it was important to give people the confidence that concrete facades wouldn't contribute to the spread of fire across buildings. The test itself effectively tries to represent what would happen with a fire breaking out of a window or other major op opening within a facade. Once the fire was extinguished and the concrete cladding panels were inspected, there was some aesthetic uh, making good that was needed to the front of the panels, but other than that, they were in perfect condition. Concrete is a better defence against fire than many other construction materials because it doesn't contribute to the fire. So the results of the test should give peace of mind to both owners in that the damage was limited uh, occupiers of buildings in that the fire didn't spread and of course it gives peace of mind to insurers because it was relatively easy to repair and get the building back in, into uh, working condition. We've seen with combustible construction big big problems in places like care homes, in schools, um, in hotels where structures have just been burnt to the ground. There is no resilience there and I think that we need to educate designers in, in the basics of building resilience, in some of the advantages there are for using non-combustible construction, um, and actually being able to reuse some of those non-combustible buildings that we have out there at the moment that could possibly be repurposed rather than knocked down. Well, I think we've got to have a built environment which is actually reflective of the risk it's protecting. To have a care home built of wood seems ludicrous. To have a school that's built of combustible material seems ludicrous. There has to be a recognition by the government that actually building resilience and life safety are inextricably linked. It is more environmentally friendly to repurpose, reuse or have a more resilient building than actually let it burn to the ground and build it again with combustible materials.